Hi, my name is Matthew Crampton. Thank you for watching Music News. Matthew Cranston, it's great to see you. How are you doing today? We've just done a great show here. We're on the Cutty Sark. What yes. a place to do a show. How many times have you played on a boat of this nature? Cranston. I've never played on a big boat like this. We once did a, we once did a, uh, a concert on a barge in, the, in Harwich on the East Coast in the wow. biggest storm to hit the East Coast in 50 years. And we were like this. <laughs> And we're singing shanties and we're landlubbers and we don't know how to sing shanties like this, but we did it. <laughs> Tonight we're static, it's just very atmospheric to be on this big boat here. How did the show go? It went well. We were underneath, there's a dry dock yes. beneath the Cutty Sark, so I had this beautiful large bottom looming above my head all the way through the hull, the hull of the boat, all the way down. Uh, the acoustic's incredible. We had a good audience and it went very well. Yeah, I mean, you impart an unusual mixture of narrative and folk, sort of harking back to the days of the slave trade. When, when did your interest in that era first, first begin? Well, I love telling stories. I'm a writer, I write books, and I love singing. And I do believe that um, people enjoy an audience, en enjoys evenings of words and music together. There's something about different parts of the brain being satisfied. And when you look back, there are so many stories to tell about the sea, about shanties. But what I liked, because I'm also quite political, I like stories of migrants. It's the, it's the defining dilemma of our time today. Yeah. And so I wanted to look back 200 years to see what were the experience of migrants then. And they may have been slaves, they may have been uh, emigrants leaving Britain to go and live in North America. They may be convicts being transported to Australia. What were their experiences? And are there any parallels with today? And there are. <laughs> there, there are so many. I wish we had three hours. But what about, can you tell us briefly about your, your book as well? Human Cargo, Songs and Stories of Trafficking, uh, Slavery and Emigration, um, humancargo.co.uk. Um, it tells stories, it tries to give voice to those people who were transported in those days. So we've, I've got accounts and records, personal diaries of people actually on the slave boats, on the emigrant boats, on the convict transportation boats. and. Beside that, because of course, unfortunately, in those days, the people we hear from are the rich, the lucky, and the resourceful. Most people leave no record. Ordinary folk don't, except through folk song. And that's the great thing about folk song. It's an anonymous but authentic record of what ordinary people felt. And so I've used many folk songs to tell stories that don't appear in the more learned and literate literature. But, I mean, was it always your, um, your, your plan to fuse the spoken word and, and song? Or was it something that just came about through time? And um, it was a natural evolution of loving singing and loving writing. And um, my next show is based on something called The Transports, a folk opera uh, by Peter Bellamy, which we're touring in January, February next year. And I'm adding stories and spoken narrative to run all the way through it. Um, and that's, again, it's just audiences seem to like the combination of storytelling and then singing. And certainly for those who are not die-hard folkies, they may not want to spend a whole evening just listening to folk songs, because that just might be too much. But you throw in some stories as well, then you can hook people in. Could you give us a little flavour of what we could expect? I'll give you a taste. This is a very rare thing. This is a shanty, yeah. but it's a shanty that's specifically about slavery. Because folk songs, they love to talk about horrific things. They don't shrink from talking about human cruelty and tragedy, but they don't usually go anywhere near slavery. And this is one of the few that does, and it's called Goodbye, My riley -O, and it specifically talks about a slaver called Riley. I'll just give you a, a, I'll give you a verse. Riley, Riley, where are you? Oh, Riley, oh, man. Riley, Riley, where are you? Bye bye, my Riley, oh, man. Fantastic. Amazing. No more, no more to say from myself. Thank you very much for giving us your time. Anything else to say to Music News Watchers? Well, uh, listen to Shanties, sing some folk songs, buy the book, humancargo.co.uk, and look out for a show next year called The Transports, and attend to the refugees and migrants of the world. They need our help. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Pleasure.